I'm Margaret Sinclair, and my story is The Trespassing Cows. I am Michael Camerano, born in Padua, Italy in 1870. I came to America at age 22 to escape being imprisoned for the death of my uncle. I married my wife Margaret in New York City. We started a family and eventually moved to a small upstate town called Frankfurt. It was here that we raised our children and I tended my farm on land that is now known as the reservation. On October 22, 1926, I found my neighbor David Reese's cows ravaging my apple orchard. Mr. Reese agreed to pay for damages and told his hired man, Leroy Sweet, to mend the fences. Reese repeatedly insulted me and wanted to fight. The next day, Sweet was spreading manure in the field next to mine. He taunted me with insults and threw a rock at me. I grabbed my gun and shot at him. He kept going, so I thought I missed. Later, I found out I had killed him. He told Mrs. Reese, Michael did this before he died. I panicked and went to New York City where I stayed with friends. I changed my name and my appearance. It wasn't long before the police were chasing me and asking questions. I got nervous and moved to Boston. After living and working there for several years, I got word that my mother was gravely ill, so I sailed for Padula. It was there I met a young woman that I married, and we had a beautiful daughter. Life was good, until my brother and I argued over a piece of land our mother had left us. My brother turned me into authorities, and I was jailed. New York City Detective Michael Bernabeck, who was in Italy on other business and who had been hired to track me, discovered me in jail. He notified Herkimer County officials, who asked then-Governor Roosevelt to petition Mussolini for my extradition. Soon I was brought back to Herkimer County to stand trial for the murder of Leroy Sweet. Even though my wife Margaret visited me and brought me warm clothes, I was despondent until new sheriff Leo Lawrence told me I could plead guilty to second-degree manslaughter and avoid the electric chair. I did, and I ended up in Dannemora. Michael died in prison on December 1, 1945. To learn more about this story, come into the Herkimer County Historical Society and purchase the book Murder and Mayhem in Herkimer County.